What's going on, everyone? Your boy Kells here with another delegation. Uh, We're going to go over the new AMD update with the ReLive app, which I'm actually using uh, right now. So I'm going to go over the settings and how to actually use it, because most of you probably don't know what? how to we set started, it up, because I just figured it out. August 2013. Let's do this I shit. Welcome to the Nerd Delegation, with some of the finest nerds on the planet. This is the place for game reviews, unboxings, let's plays, watch me rage, and many more. Nerd on. Alright, let's get into the whole settings of the ReLive right up above here. It's awesome, because I got tired of using Plays TV or trying to find out something to use with my um, Windows games, you know, like Gears of War 4, because it, it was a pain in the ass just to try to get all the settings and everything correctly, and then you wind up not getting it correctly. Yeah, but this thing is exactly like Shadow Play, and I'm glad they did this because it was a hassle, a real annoying hassle. So let's get into the settings now. Don't mind the background here, I'm watching uh, NCIX Tech Tips. They're doing a giveaway for uh, Intel i7 processor so and I'm trying to get one but anyway all right what you want to go to do if you want to go to more you can see what else they have here you know it'll tell you your whole settings and whatnot right above here change your folder location so what you want to do when you first get your update you're gonna to want to go to relive it's gonna be off when you go to it so toggle it on and then put on record desktop which is right here and then you want to want to choose your file we want to save it to so you choose whatever uh, hard drive you want or maybe solid state drive you just put it into the folder select folder and then hit select folder and then voila it goes straight to the folder now to choose your video device it's pretty self-explanatory like what you like what you would do in OBS you just go to your video capture device use your webcam if you have another external source you know for your DSLR videos cameras and stuff you know use sparkle cam or whatever you have attached to it then select that same thing with game capture audio it's very similar to shadow play and OBS so choose your default one choose your default one because it won't work with the other one it probably does but I just want the default one it took me a while to figure it out but I finally got it all right and then at the bottom here you can choose your hotkeys you can customize it whatever way you want but I guess it has to be uh, three in the combination not just one and yeah you go to that and you're all good then you go to your recording which I'm gonna record the best resolution as possible but in here you can choose your custom recording for profile I'm stuttering you can use low medium and high as well but I chose custom for this video I'm doing it in 1080 and 60 frames per second so but we're gonna go to recording resolution. You know, you got 360, 480, 720, 1080, 1440, and 4K. Or if you're playing a game, you can do your in-game resolution. And then you got your recording bitrate. You can choose it, you can make it go up and down. So it's up to you what you wanna do. But I'm gonna go with somewhat the highest because I want great quality coming back from my videos. So let's move on. You can choose your recording. FPS, which is pretty cool. 30 and 60. I mean, it's really no point of going higher than 60. Yeah, there's a whole theory out there that your eyes can go faster than 60, but whatever. Then you go to your encoding type. I'm going to keep it as default because I just, yeah, I keep it like that. Audio bit rate, you have your choices, 32, 64, 96, 128, 160, 192. I'm just going to keep mine on 192 because there's no, really no point of going any higher. So. Once you're done with that settings, you're good. But you can also turn on your instant replays as well. Then now you go to your streaming. You can connect your Twitch account, your YouTube account, custom stream. I, I'm not even gonna touch that. But if you want, you can put all your information in there. So it'll be your stream keys for either YouTube or Twitch. And then you can choose your streaming profile, which will be custom, ultra, high, medium, low. Streaming resolution, you can choose, I don't know, 4K's not on there surprisingly. But yeah, you got 360, 480, 720, 1080, 1440. So, yeah. Then you got your streaming bitrate. Yeah. Then you get to choose your 
frames per second, audio again, and would you like to archive your stream? So I'm guessing when you choose this, it goes to whatever folder you have selected. All right, after you want to archive your stream, now we're going to go to the overlay portion. Now this is kind of confusing because, well, it's not really confusing, but when you want to choose your custom overlay, it doesn't show you when you're actually recording, which doesn't really make sense. Hopefully they update to where you can, while you're recording, you can see where you need to place your camera within your overlay because do it after your recording is already recorded, which doesn't make any sense. And then you can also choose your uh, system info. You can show your camera, yes, which I'm doing right here, in a little circle here. You can choose your camera location, which he has these numbers here. I have it at zero, which is a uh, X, and then Y. I have it at 840 to keep it at the bottom left, bottom left corner. And then you can choose your camera size as well: small, medium, or large. Custom, yeah, whatever. Now to show custom overlay, as I was saying, you have to see where you need to place it after your recording. You see here, right about now. And we're back. You notice how the overlay is nowhere near where my camera is because I don't know where it is because I have to record it first and then calculate where I could possibly do it and move it move it according to where the overlay is which they need to update that I do like that you get to add the custom overlay so I'm not gonna complain about that but just make it to where you can actually preview it before you record it well while it's recording so you can do your adjustments now back without the overlay All right when you choose your overlay, you get to choose exactly where it's located. So, this instance, I chose the one off of my desktop. When you do it, just hit open. Now back to without the overlay. Hey, okay, we are back. Once you choose your custom overlay, I already said it, you get to choose where it's located. And once you are done, maybe you want to hit more and see exactly what it says. Customize your feed with a custom overlay. Show off your system info. So you can do your system info and it'll show in the bottom right or something if you really want to. Which I'm not really going to do that because my system is garbage at the, at the moment. But Skynet will rise, as I said. And then once you're done with everything, you don't have to hit save or anything like that. You just hit the X button. And now you are good. I did not win the contest, by the way, but there's still two more streams going on very sad but I will keep trying because NCX tech tips they're fucking awesome <laughs> it's a Bob dollar <laughs> well anyway I'll be making more videos and talking about the different features with this new uh, update from AMD which is awesome I was prior Nvidia I only had a 780 so I decided to go with RX 480 from XX, XFX, I still can't, I have a problem with saying the name for some reason, but I got the GTR Black Edition, and I plan to overclock it because it's, the core clock is at 1338 megahertz, so I want to overclock it, but my processor is only an A10 6800K, not great whatsoever. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, we got more to come, I'm going to talk about the AMD as, thing as I said, and yeah. Check out my sponsor, Blue Vos Energy. They're cool people. If you want to have something to get you hyped up while you're playing video games, use my link down below and use my code, the Nerd Delegation, for 10% off. Don't forget about that. Also, check out ZFG Nation. www.zfgnation.com. Links will be down below. Justin Red, 87 on Twitch, on Twitter. ZFG Nation is also on Twitch and Twitter with the same name. Check them out. All the links will be down below. Check out other products that I have. Use my code and our delegation to get certain percentages off and to support what I do. I plan on getting a new CPU, hopefully that this AMD Zen, when they come out with a conference December 13th, they uh, give a reasonable price and I might get that depending on how good it is versus the 6700K from Intel. So, Thanks for watching. You have a good one. Nerd on. Thank you everyone for watching. Please like if you enjoyed the video, share, and subscribe. Remember everyone always, nerd on. This video has been sponsored by...
evolve your game. ZFG Zulu Foxtrot Golf Zero Fucks Given is a page to express one's desire not to give a single fuck about whatever the fuck you want. Zero Fucks Given Hashtag ZFG My name is Wesley Griffin and you can find me on Facebook at the Magic Voice of Mr. Griff. You can also find me on SoundCloud under Yelsu and on Twitter as Gryffindor88 Instagram as Gryffindor88 and on The Vine as Gryffindor.